Hello and welcome to a delightful part of Spain. We're here by the Mediterranean at the Estadio de la Ceramica. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Villarreal up against Ren. Well Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game though. And here's a look at the starting 11 for Villarreal. The evergreen Pepe Reina stands between the posts. Juan Foyt starts with Raul Albiol in central defence. Danny Parejo starts with Francis Coquelin in the centre of midfield. And up front, Gerard Moreno plays alongside Morales. Here's how Ren will line up for this match. Well, 4-4-2 against 4-4-2. That certainly takes me back. But I think this will come down to who wins the battle in central midfield because there's four very good players in there. And now they get the ball rolling. Amin Guiri. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Crossing possibilities. Terrier. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Well, so much to like about Gerard Moreno and his overall game. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball. He can get himself out of tight situations. He can see a pass. He's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Matic. It's with Marta Terrier. And a good tackle. Gerard Moreno. Pedraza with it. Parejo, Parejo! Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And played short. It comes to nothing in the end. Jeremy. It's with Raul Albiol. Interception to snuff out the danger. Amin Guiri. Ludovic Blas. And snuffing out the danger. Terrier, and the emphasis is on creativity. And the cross comes to nothing. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Superb block. Terrier.
Giovanni Lo Celso. Committed challenge. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Moreno. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Who can he pick out? And the cross not sufficiently well played in. Coquelin. Plenty of support here. Moreno. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. And plenty of room in the wide area. Terrier. It's a perfect challenge. Well, as you can see from the stats, there's been little between the two teams. It's been really tight, really cagey. Let's just hope it opens up and one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Yes, a stalemate so far. Will that situation change? It might be the moment to get them ahead. And it's in! 1-0, they breached the defence. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And with that, the first half action is over. It's half-time here at the Estadio de la Ceramica. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it's certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. And now they get the ball rolling. Pedraza with it. Javejo! Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And it's in! Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Parejo. Oh, lovely incisive pass. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him. And short it is. And played in. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise.
And he's fired over the corner. Well, not cleared away completely. Just the challenge that was required. And space to exploit, maybe. Amin Gouiri. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Blas. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Can he put it away? And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Attack looks promising. Terrier. This is the Mania Matic. And it's still on for him. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. So making the substitution now. Keen to take it short here. And taking it away. Alberto Moreno. Jeremy. Moreno. This could level it. Oh, it could be. Able to close down the shot. And he's beaten him here. France unable to make anything of the cross. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Tight. Well read to ease the pressure. Running with the ball confidently. And let's give credit to the defending. Amin Gouiri. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Breaking at pace. Well, the fans believe there's hope here. Can the players respond now? Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Matic. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. He's in behind. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, here it is again. And you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Underway with the lead standing at 2 0. We've had the official word there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Coquelin. Moreno. 
Now Parejo. He does have pressure to deal with. Parejo. Really good high press. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. And now they get the ball rolling. Pedraza with it. Parejo! Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. It might be the moment to get them ahead. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And played in. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. And it's still on for him. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. So making the substitution now. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. He's in behind. And a goal! They lead by two now, and that allows them to breathe a bit more easily.